Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will continue work with our panels. If you remember in my previous tutorial, we are talking about the panels, how to create parametric um, the size, for example, the top and bottom different size rotation in Revit with the panels. So in this tutorial, we will continue talking about that, but we will work mostly with Dynamo. So we will create a randomized panel. We will uh, manipulate with data from this panel. If you didn't watch my previous tutorial, so please watch it uh, and uh, you will understand how it's working and what is the parameter and how you, you can create it. If you already watch it, so you can continue watch this video. By the way, all the links you will find below this video you will find how you can download for example this uh, family you can download it yes you will find it below this video and if you want to know basic things um, from dynamo how to use it and um, better understand how to work in dynamo please check my course on the udemy also you will find below this video so let's get start the first thing what we will can do we will go the, directly to the dynamo uh, we will open up Dynamo. It doesn't matter which Dynamo you are using. I'm using 2.0, so you can use earlier or maybe a newest one. It's only up to you. So once you will open Dynamo, uh, we will create a new script. Here we are. Let's uh, create the new one. I will use only the vanilla. I mean, only the standard nodes, and not uh, any uh, some special one. No worries about that. So if you're using the standard Dynamo, all the nodes you will you will get. The first thing. Uh, let's check it out. What we have here. Here is the my panels, and if I will select by tab key my panels, you will see the panels it's a uh, uh, curtain panel as you can see so the curtain panel is good uh, we know, we are now understand the curtain panel it's our category uh, it means so we should first find the category called curtain panel okay so first we will find the curtain panel and after that we will find dimension which we have the name rotating bot so we matter only this name rotating bot so let's back to the dynamo and as i said now we should find a uh, category uh curtain panel let's find here the for example category category and here as you can see selection categories let's back, go back inside to the selection categories and let's choose the categories now Revit asking us to I mean Dynamo asking us to choose the category but before we will do that I will switch automatic uh, mode to the manual one I want to manipulate it manual so let's go back to the category and here we will find the curtain panels so here's the curtain panels okay and after that i want to select all the curtain panels entire my project so uh, all elements of category so it means we will select all family uh, all the uh, families from this category let's run it up and let's check it out what we have here as you can see 102 uh panels we have inside this project cool now we should get the parameters from these panels how we can do that uh, let's go to the uh, back to the searching engine and we will write here the um, get no set set parameter right together uh, and don't use the space bar so set parameter by value name this is what we need it's here now we will connect element to the element and now this not asking us what the name of the parameter just double left click uh we need to write the brackets brackets to write the string because this name is string and write exactly how they are writing rotating bot okay awesome and connect to the parameter name we did it and value we should write some numbers of the degree so let's say this is will be zero and let's connect to the volume let's run it up it will take a bit the time because now all our panels are getting the uh, rotating bot zero angle as you can see it's zero right now and as you can see here it's all zero 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 and the second line zero and the third line zero as you can see so everything all right so what we're gonna do next next we should we want to make it randomize actually so this is will not will work for us how we can do that randomize i'll show you right now 
the first thing, as you can see here, we have like uh, how many we have, uh, hundreds to two panels. And here, I don't know, uh, I will delete now this block, I'm just showing you how it's working. And now we will create the nice script. So first, I want to use the count, just, um, oh, sorry, just left uh, click uh, on your mouse, mouse bottom and write count, count. And here is the count, let's use it. Uh, let's connect elements to the list, let's run it. And as you can see, here is 102, so correct, this is what I want. The second thing what I want to make, I want to uh, randomize, run, random, okay, here's the random, random function, uh, maybe random list, let's make it random list, and here's the amount, let's connect it to the amount, let's run it up, and as you can see, here's the random numbers, as you can see but it's zero something this is not what i want i want to make it more interesting so how we can make it we will uh, write a 10 like this let's connect it a it means the number which come inside here and as you can see now we get nine degree one degree so this is much interesting what we want but as you can see here's only 101 but it's not like this because uh, the uh, your PC is starting from the zero. That's why they are 101, uh, but totally we have 102. Again, if you want to know better how working with the Dynamo, you can check my uh, tutorial. Uh, below the video, you will find the link for the, my Udemy. Okay, here is the some angles. Uh, let's say this is what I want. And let's connect this code block to the volume. Let's run it up. It will take time just few seconds not few seconds few minutes let's say because we have the hundred uh, uh, hundred panels and let's see what we get and as you can see we have some different angles here yes this is what i want but it's not so big different angle because as i said this is only like nine degree like seven degree let's make apply it like 20. let's say first i'll try it how it's working okay here is 11 already here is 12 somewhere 15 19 so this is much better maybe we will do the even 25. so this much much better and let's make 35. this will be last call yeah and let's connect this one to the volume let's run it up again and this is what's last uh changed now after that we will create this not uh more useful okay here we are let's go back and as you can see now we have totally different as you can see it's totally different degree here but it's only the top as i said only the uh, bot uh, part it's changing let's change now uh, also the top part uh, let's go back to the dynamo and how we can do that actually pretty same everything uh, now we can just um, what we can do we will just copy only this part let's copy this part and what we're gonna do we need shuffle we need shuffle uh, just right click ah we have here shuffle as you can see and let's connect our code block to the list and list to the volume like this because uh, i don't want to make the same parameters i i'm i will shuffle uh, all these parameters and we will get different parameters for the top side and bottom side and i'll say here is the top top and let's connect it to the parameter value uh, let's say i'll do it a bit smaller one and let's run it and now the bottom side and the top side will have the will, will be have the different degree so if you want to make different degree if you don't want to make different degree you can just connect our code block uh, entirely to our uh, set and as you can see we get we get this as you can see it's like that and let's check it out how it's working uh okay as you can see it's a bit different degree but it's only a bit but anyway here is for example three here 25 so it's working and now it's more smoothly and looking much better than it was before so as you can see you can easily make it randomized but it's only one way 
from the thousands ways how you can make the randomize uh you can do it with some special scripts you can do just by random list random function you can even create your own random system so if you are interesting about the random uh, you can join my course or you can ask me below the comments and maybe in one uh, new video in my new stream i will do the tutorial how you can do it randomized